everyone. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to stretch watercolor paper. Now, the reason that I stretch paper when I'm doing a watercolor painting is because it helps keep the paper from warping. You know how sometimes you've maybe done a watercolor painting and the paper gets all rippled when you're working on it? This helps prevent that. It helps keep the paper flatter and helps keep you from getting awkward puddles of color on your painting later when you're working. Now to do this, I've done a few things. First, it might not show up too well right here, but I've already lightly sketched out my drawing, so or a drawing for my painting, so that I know where the edges of my piece of art are going to be. This is important because you want to make sure that you're not taping over the edges of your painting. And also, I have a drawing board here. You can use a piece of wood, any kind of stable surface. Just make sure it's something that you don't mind if it gets tape on it, if you're planning on using it for stretching paintings a lot. I've stretched a lot of paintings on this board, which is why it has all of these old tape marks, but they don't hurt anything. And they're flat enough where you can still use this as a portable drawing surface if you need it later. And I'm going to be stretching my painting right on the drawing board. Now to stretch it, I'm using a paper tape. It's brown tape, it comes on a roll like this. You can get it at any craft store, any art supply store, you can even find it on Amazon. Now, this is not like regular masking tape. This tape is not sticky until you activate the adhesive side with water. Sometimes you see tape like this used on the bottoms of cardboard boxes. The benefit of using the paper tape as opposed to a masking tape is that as the adhesive dries after you stick it down, it pulls the paper tighter and you get a much better bond with the surface. Masking tape, sometimes if it gets wet it, when you're painting, it can peel off the surface of your drawing board and you don't want to have to worry about that happening while you're working on your watercolor painting. So I'm going to be using this paper tape. You can get it in a few different widths, like this one's thinner, this one's thicker. I'm going to be using this thinner one because I'm doing a smaller painting. If I was doing a larger painting, I would use the thicker one because it would give me better pull and better tension as the paper stretches out on the board. I also have a bowl with water ready to go and a sponge and we're going to throw that in there so it can start soaking. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pre-cut or rip all four pieces of tape that I'm going to need. So I need them for the top and the bottom and the left and the right. Make sure you make your piece of tape longer than the paper that you're stretching. It'll give you better grip on the board and help keep things from peeling off. So these are the ones for the side. I'm gonna put them right over here to keep them ready to go. And these pieces are going to be the top and bottom. Now, I'm gonna get the tape wet in a minute and stick it down, but before you do that, make sure you know that your paper tape should be roughly half on your paper and half on your board. That gives you good grip. If you're not putting the paper or tape on enough of your watercolor paper, it's gonna peel off as everything tightens as it dries and you're not going to have good grip. So here is how we activate the tape. I'm doing this in my kitchen because I need a surface that I can get wet and the sink's right there if I need to clean things up easily. So make sure you're working on a surface that you don't mind if water gets on it. And it's just water, so you can just wipe it up afterwards. So I'm gonna take my sponge, which has been soaking, and I want it to be really wet, so I'm not really gonna wring it out. And I am going to wet the whole shiny adhesive side of the paper tape. And I'm gonna put it right on here, half on the paper, half on the board. I have my sides that overhang past the painting. And I'm really gonna rub it on here. You want to use a good amount of pressure while you're doing this. You'll start to see the edges of your watercolor paper through the surface of the tape. But you wanna put good pressure on this. You definitely want to be standing while you are doing this so that you can put good pressure on your paper. Now, you always want to stretch opposite sides. 
You never want to go clockwise or counterclockwise because you might wind up with your paper bunching in the corner. It's better to stretch opposite sides first because you'll get better tension. You do the same thing when you're stretching canvas on stretcher bars for an acrylic painting or an oil painting. So you always stretch opposite sides. I just did the bottom, so now I'm gonna do the top so I can do that opposite side. And same thing, I flip the tape over so the shiny side is facing up. I get it wet with the sponge and put it on there again. Half on the paper, half on the board, just like that. And I'm gonna rub it on. Sometimes if you're stretching a really large piece of paper, it can be helpful to have someone nearby to help you pull it tight as you're stretching, but for a little one like this, we're fine. Now I'm gonna do the left and right sides. These are a little longer, so the tape wants to curl up, but that's okay, just press it down with your fingers, wet it with the sponge, and same thing. Half on your watercolor paper, half on the board, and keep rubbing it down. And because I sketched out what I want my painting to be ahead of time, I know where the edges of it are. And this is helpful because you don't want to put your paper tape right at the edge of your painting if you can avoid it. Because when you're all done with your painting, you're going to need to use an X-Acto knife to cut this off the drawing board and you don't want to be cutting right on the edge of your painting. So I have extra white paper around where the edge of my painting is going to be and that gives me um, a little bit of freedom of movement when I have to cut my painting out later. We have one more piece of tape to do here. I'm going to go ahead and put it down. Again, half on the watercolor paper, half on the board. I have my extra length that overhangs to help give me really good tension as it dries and I'm gonna rub it on here. It's okay if extra water gets on your watercolor paper while you're stretching this. It won't hurt anything. It will dry and you won't even notice. And that's it. So everything is all taped down and right now I just have to let it dry. You do not want to paint on this right away. You want to wait until the paper tape is totally bone dry because as this dries it's pulling your paper tighter and giving you that good tension so that your paper won't warp while you're painting on it. And that's it. That is how you stretch watercolor paper. Thanks for watching.